captured. So this is the vehicle that we've been discussing. I'll go around and do a video for you and show you the key points, give you a more close up look at the vehicle and then I'll give you a call and see what your thoughts are. So as you can see from here, we've got 911 turbo wheels. Okay, you'll notice that we've got green valve caps, which means that all of our wheels are now filled with nitrogen. Um, you can top them up with normal air, but however, any full center or Texaco now carries them. If we go around, you'll notice you've got the Bizenon lights with EDLS, and if you're not sure what that is, that's Porsche Dynamic Light System, which means that it's got the adaptive lights. If we go around, it's currently in the solid white color that we do. If we go around. Get on this side. We start from showing from the back first, and then what well, I'll do jump in the driver's side whilst you have a look through the passenger. So it's got the Luxor beige interior, which is full, which gives you both your headline and your carpets and also your dashboard. Panoramic roof there. Okay, and then if we jump into the car, so I'll jump in the driver's side whilst you get into the passenger. Right then, so you'll probably notice from that side that we have got the 18-way adaptive seats. So Connor will just show you that now. Which means you've got full ball stuff. But if I jump in and just start the vehicle. So this is the KNS, this is the 4.2. As you've already said, it is quite loaded. So I've go through the extras with you. So you can see from the centre, you've got the navigation system, okay, along with Bluetooth. So if I just press phones to show you, you have got the ability to play your music via there and also just connect your phone. Other than that, you have also got your ventilated seats. So you've got both heated and cooled seats. And if we go down to the bottom, you'll notice that it's also got the air suspension along with your PASM, which is your Porsche Active Suspension Management. Now that gives you the option of putting it in three different modes to change the style of the chassis. However, it is adaptive constantly, okay? If we then have a quick look around, you've also then got your center console, which then gives you, um, in the dashboard, you've also got a compass, okay? Now some people tend to have sports chrono, depending on what you prefer, as we discussed the other day, but at least it gives you that little bit of break up in the main dashboard. You'll notice from the door panels as well that you've also got both surround sound and that's missing throughout the car. You've also got heated front windscreen as well. The vehicle itself has got a lot of options, a lot of nice things and it is a lovely colour. Uh, you'll also notice on your steering wheel you've got the multifunction steering wheel along with the fact that it's also got your cruise control um, and obviously say you've also got your auto lights. Um, other than that, I mean if there are any other questions that you'd like to go through with me please feel free to give me a call. Other than that I look forward to speaking to you soon. Thanks ever so much.